Genesis 1.27 So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. When God first created man, he created him in his own image, perfect and sinless. God also gave man free will, so that man could choose to love and obey God, or reject and disobey him. After all, love that is not chosen freely and given from free will is not really love at all. It's just an empty illusion. That's why no children can remain satisfied with stuffed animals for all their lives. They want something that can choose to love them and give them real love. Unfortunately, man used his free will to choose to reject God and disobey him instead of loving God with that free will. That could have separated all of humanity from God forever. But because God is good and he is love, rather than denying himself and the love that is his very nature, he gave us another chance to choose to love him. That chance is Jesus. Second Corinthians 5.21 For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 1 John 3 9 Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. First Peter 2.21-24 for even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that ye should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, reviled not again, when he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, who his own self bare our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Romans 6, 1-4 What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid! How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. When Jesus came to the earth, he lived a sinless life, and died on the cross for our sins, and rose from the dead to conquer both sin and death for us. If we believe in him and choose to love him, then we will put our trust in him and turn to him for forgiveness for our sins. When that happens, Jesus washes us clean from our sins. In this way, God brings us back to his own righteousness through Jesus and restores us to a right relationship with himself. Through him we have died to sin and risen to live in his righteousness. That does not mean we will never mess up, but when we do, Jesus is there to forgive us when we turn to him from that sin and turn back to Jesus in love and submission to his will. Have you been restored to his righteousness? Does his righteousness shine through you? If you have put your trust in him, it should be evident in the way you talk and act. You should want to do the things that please him, and want to avoid the things that are contrary to his holiness. You should also want to know him more, and grow closer to him.
One way you can grow in your relationship with him is by reading the Bible. The Bible can tell you more about who he is, what he has done, what he wants, and what he doesn't want. So if you already have put your trust in him and you want to know him more, reading the Bible is a good place to start. If you have never put your trust in him and you want to, then you can start with this simple little prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again the third day. Please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of his will so you can live out his holiness in your life. If you are interested in understanding the story of Jesus' life better, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May God's righteousness be in you.